We have more astonishing news tonight about Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford. She stood up today on both feet and looked out the window of the Tucson hospital. She's set to take another extraordinary step in her recovery. Word tonight she could be released from the hospital in Tucson as soon as Friday. Dan Harris has the latest on her progress and tells us about a video that is giving investigators new clues. When Congresswoman Giffords is released, she will be flown here to the Memorial Hermann Rehab Center in Houston, considered to be one of the best in the country. In an upbeat email to family and friends obtained by the New York Times, Giffords' mother, Gloria, says Gabby has scrolled through pictures on her husband's iPhone, tried to untie his tie, and even looked at Get Well cards. Quote, every day, Gabby improves and shows higher levels of comprehension and complex actions. Doctors say Giffords has still not yet tried to speak and has a long road ahead of her. It's not uncommon that a patient um, after a severe traumatic brain injury has to relearn a lot of those simple daily activities. Meanwhile, investigators in this case are now talking about what they've seen on the surveillance video from the shooting scene, which is likely to be key evidence in the trial. Jared Loeffner allegedly walks into the picture in a hurried fashion at 10.10 a.m. and shoots the congresswoman right above her left eyebrow from a distance of about three feet. In the video, investigators say you can see an act of true heroism. Ron Barber, a Gifford staffer, gets hit, and then federal judge John Roll dives on top of him to shield him, only to get shot as well. Ron Barber lived. Judge Roll did not. Investigators say the tapes show how deliberate and calculated the killings were. Moments before, Loeffner can be seen calmly talking to a Safeway employee, motioning to his ears that he cannot hear. He was wearing earplugs. The tapes may not be released until Loeffner's trial begins, by which time the hope is that Congresswoman Giffords is in vastly better shape. Dan Harris, ABC News.